What's up, Wolfpack? It's the Young Avel here. On my back side. At it the moon will get full, and I'll come alive. Oh, this ain't the Wolf of Wall Street. This is the Wolf of All Streets, and that's final. Let's get right to the video. This is a an interesting one because it's it's an interesting time we live in right now. We live in a time where society is giving power to certain types of people within the society. Now, we have things like OnlyFans now. And I bring this up to say this. The issue is not the women themselves doing the OnlyFans. The issue is weak men. Weak, weak men. That is the issue because these men are giving large amounts of money and these girls are making large amounts of money and they are being put, they're being like this, being pushed up in society because they have more and more money. So they are starting to lead. They're starting to lead the dynamics of the culture and, and all that. And ask yourself this, do you really want to be led? by a woman with an OnlyFans. And not to say that there's anything bad with those people that, that do that, that people that do OnlyFans. Do you really want to be led by a woman who does that? I'm not. I won't even say I don't. I'm not. Are you? So, this is the issue because Guess who's paying for those OnlyFans? Men. It's guys. So, it's weak men that are causing this kind of... In my opinion, my buddy brought up something earlier. He was talking about uh, oppression. And um, in terms of uh, race and all that stuff. And I definitely don't deny that. And... Um, for this topic right now, we're talking about weak men being a big, big problem in society right now. Because they are giving one of the, I don't want to say lowest classes, but in terms of... We are putting women that have OnlyFans up in society, like high. And that's a problem. You know, that's a problem because... Ideally, in a society, you would want people that lead that society to be innovators. Now, and I already can see the, the rebuttal saying, oh, that's a creative outlet of the, so they can make money. No, I'm talking about innovators that benefit society as a whole. Not someone showing their feet in a video and people being like, here's $10, nice feet. Like, no, that's not... Dude, what? Like, how can you get value from that? Okay, so, that's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> now, it's funny because it seems like that is a, just an effect of what has been happening, you know, for fairly, uh, I don't want to say recently, but it's been happening for a while. And that, it seems like, there's this sort of agenda to plummet masculinity, to kind of beat it down within society. And I have a hunch. I think the reason for that is because masculine energy are the only real ones that can affect change in a society. So if you buckle down on the expressions of masculinity, you will have less object objection to the status quo because... Uh, feminine energy is easier to control and manipulate. Now, you look at things like a large, uh, and it makes sense because you look at things like a large part of the consumer base are female, right? Consumers are females. You know, large portions of the debt are held by females or, yeah, female women. And if I was a society, I wouldn't want things to change. I would want... I would want to be able to exert manipulation. I don't want people standing up and 
disrupting what I got going on because it's working well for myself. So I get it. Now it's up to the guys in the society to see that, though. That's the thing. You have to see that. You have to understand what the root problem is. It's because there are weak men. And I'm telling you, things like the consumption of pornography, this, this is a battle that you absolutely must win. You must win it. Or else, my brother. Or else. You've seen the, the pregnant man emojis. I just saw it like yesterday or the day before. They got an emoji coming out of a pregnant man. What? Why? Who said that? that who thought that that would be a good idea? Who thought that that would... Yeah, there's going to be people that can relate to this. Who thought that? What? So, part of me, I have notes. You can see how they are slowly, and testosterone levels are plummeting at an alarming rate. Guys don't got the fight in them anymore. Guys are being docile. You know what I'm saying? That's a big problem, guys. That's a big problem. Do you want to be led by a woman that has an OnlyFans? Do you want to be controlled by the P? And I don't mean purpose. Oh my goodness. You know, the, it's a... Uh, I want to share this with you that was shared with me from um, the Saint and the Sinner. Great. I'm loving that. Diving into that content. That guy's brilliant. Marquette. That guy's brilliant. I really like what he's talking about. And he said something in one of his videos that I like. You know, that we all pretty much common sense but when it comes to chasing a woman it's funny how women start tend to gravitate toward the guy that doesn't really chase them you know after a certain time after he gets the guts the women can't be chased if you don't pursue them because remember we're talking about leverage right right now society is giving all the leverage to women and remember, I don't say this of uh, anything against women. I love women. I love women a lot. And they know I love them. So this is more like, guys, y'all got to see. Remember, you cannot bash the women for being women. You know, you cannot bash them. Don't belittle them. Any of that. That stuff doesn't, you just understand how they operate. Boom. Boop. All right, what's the next, what's the problem though? Weak men. That means this is the problem right here, me. So you have to fix yourself. You have to become strong. You have to become confident. You have to become competent. You have to become able. You have to develop ideas and develop plans and not be distracted and focused and aid to society and build the kingdom essentially. Or you can be led by the girl Paul you could be led by a girl named Paulina on OnlyFans. You pay ten ninety nine a month. She sends you a video of, of her in underwear, and you know, you release your seed. And then you go back to your job the next day. Well, you know, for those guys, I... If for those guys, it makes me think, you know, this is why there's only a small portion of, you know, when it comes to alpha, beta, I'm not a self-proclaimed alpha, you know. I just like I just know I have to take care of my people and I know um I feel like I'm built to lead cuz I have value, I have things to say. So that's what I mean when I'm talking about uh myself. But in terms of like you look out in nature, you look out in the world, you can see how there's only a little bit of alphas, a small percentage and a lot of betas or a lot of men who are not willing to do the work basically. You know? And um who do you want to be? They have, we live in a society where they have basically weaponized your own biological nature against you. They've weaponized your urges and now they give them to women and women just run with it and, and at your expense, financially, at your expense, energetically, emotionally, blah, 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 this goes down. My brothers. It is imperative that you 
eliminate or you eliminate weakness from your, your essence. It's imperative that you become a strong man, is what I'm saying. Society is, is counting on it, you know. We have too many things that are pushing against masculinity and, you know, this is, this is the fight. This is the fight. What side are you going to be on? You give up? You're going to be on the other side? And you're going to make the load heavier for me? I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. It would be nice. You know what I'm saying? Imagine if we, if there was another brother about. And I have, uh, I have a team, which is great. I got, I'm going to actually do a, uh, a podcast. My next podcast, The Great Reembedding. Check the first episode out. Uh, the next episode is going to be about the importance of a strong, positive, masculine support group. And, you know, I'm blessed to have that. But I put in the work first. And now this come along. So you got to be willing to step out there. You might be alone for a little bit. You know, that's why my song is called Lone Star. It's not called Everyone Star. You know, we're out here by ourselves for a period of time in the beginning. And you just got to get over it and get into the work. And that's final. There's no other ways around it. So... I don't want to make this video too much more longer. Oh, that's not good grammar. I don't want to make this video too much longer. See, I get so passionate that my grammar starts to collapse, but that can't happen. Uh, I just wanted to share with you guys this perspective that was sparked to me when I was listening to uh, The Saint and the Sinner, uh, one, of his, one of his episodes. So, guys... I hope you guys are doing great and progressing in the ways that you need to be progressing, leaning into your vices. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Please like the video. Let this video get out there. So help the algorithm for the algorithm. Get in the comments. Let's chop it up. I got music coming out. Check the merch. I've been revamping the merch. I got these fire, fire colors for the Awakened, uh, the Awakened Wolf logos. I got beautiful colors, the, a white and a black logo, third eye open with the sheep of crescent moon in the background. Check it out, the link's in the description. And let's keep going. We're not stopping. So, thank you guys for tuning in. And like I always say, until next time, remember, a greater perspective can lead to a greater connection. Rising Jackpot They say silence is golden I observe Stay in my own lane Like the pace car I just shoulder my burdens Got my fingers on the keys And I'm feeling like the space ball Open doors that lead to success But will there be relief from the stress? It's like me trying to speak to the deaf No code